All right, it is the first day of spring break and we are headed to Moab, Utah in the motorhome. Let's see what happens. Here we go. We found someone else. Hey! Ah! We're here now, right on time for the Bachmans. Like six hours later. My bad, I had to shower. Oh well, I think now we're gonna get going. Finally, good morning. It's the next morning. We got in at 2 a.m. last night. Found just a little pull off area to lay our heads down. And now Jeff and I cruising along looking for a campsite for the, the motorhomes. And I think we found our first customer. We're gonna check this spot out. Hundred. All right, we're at a campground. What? This is fake money. You gonna use fake money here? <laughs> what? What? It's not real cool, man. Whatever. Anyway. So we got to a campground. It's super hard to get anything out here in Moab. And we got lucky, we found two spots together. And I literally had enough money to cover Jeff and Mai's lot rental, if you will, our reservation, by one dollar. <sighs> Talk about by the hair of your skinny chin chin. Anyway, so we're gonna get this paid for. We'll leave a Jeep here, we'll go back, we'll get the motorhomes, we'll bring them up, we'll park them, yada, 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 yada. All right, so that first day we were there in Moab at our campground ended up being really the only nice day we had while we were there. It was in the 70s, the sun was out, the kids decided they were gonna go down to play on the sandy beach by the river because we were at the Big Bend campground, and the dogs got filthy. It was a blast. Little did we know that the weather was gonna very quickly change and uh, it was gonna end up snowing on us one day. Well, we have problems. She's not problems at the moment. I don't know how to begin, but I just want to say that we're never doing this again. We're never doing a trip where you go straight from below zero, well not below zero, but like 10 degrees at night weather, where you just pull out of a snowbank and then you leave. We're not thrashing. I didn't know you married Debbie Downer. <sighs> The problem with leaving is all of a sudden you don't have time to check any systems. So anyway, I filled up my, shut up. I filled up my water tank, turned the water pump on, and a deluge, a deluge. There was a freeze over the winter, even though I uh, flushed everything with air in the fall. So I got underneath, behind the water heater, and, <laughs> Here's the water heater access panel. Open that up. See, this is underneath. There's the dual. I'm here. Water heater. Access panel open. And what do you know? This is... I mean, I got pretty lucky, I think, if this is the indeed the only thing wrong. So, this water heater slides in and has rubber hoses so you can slide it in and out to replace it or service it. 
So here's your inlet and outlet. Use my outlet here. Up there, you can see that, and here is the fitting. It it just uh, froze somehow. Ooh, ow, ow, and burst. See, bursty cakes, right there. Anyway, a quick run to Ace, and we should be good to go. Freaking ridiculous. I hate this. This is like I I am legitimately over vehicles and engines, anything mechanical. I'm going to, I'm selling it all when I get home. I'll make you a heck of a package deal. I'm going to become a furry and go to Comic-Con. Mark my words. All right. It's Saturday morning. We are headed to Poison Spider. I think the plan for today is the trifecta. Um, yeah, I'm going to three wheel it today. I don't have a working locker. All right, we're at the trailhead air down and all that stuff. All right, we are heading up Poison Spider. We met up with uh, Josh and Abby and a whole big group they've got from all over. Look at these rigs. Yeah, I'm in a crusty home-built piece of junk XJ a little feeling a little inadequate. <laughs> oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a piece out of a transfer case. Somebody had a bad time right there. I tell you what, sometimes you gotta go up before you can come down. Like it's just gonna drop down to hell. Yeah, it's it looks like a hole. It's a sign say. Oh, oh an obstacle is called launching pad. Yeah, we're gonna launch the pad. Hi, my name's Hopper, and I like to do things on film. Uh, hand, and uh, I hope I'm on the video. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out. All right, it's pretty steep. Here we go. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. That's right, Jeff making it look easy. And him's GF. GF's gonna come down. Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. about to drop. Dropping. 
Okay, keep coming. A little further, dropping dro passenger. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, buddy. You made it look semi easy. And impact. Yeah. It is golden crack time. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Smudge pot with the old standby. Twisted tea. That's right. We're gonna sit around this thing. We're gonna drink our teas, and life will be good. It is Sunday morning. Not very nice weather. We are about to go hit behind the rocks. First we air down. I'm going to 10 PSI. Just because it takes a lot more CO2 to fill these big 40s up. So we'll do 10 PSI. Still no front locker. It's starting to snow. We're gonna see how the day goes. <laughs> no guarantees of excellence, but there will be attempts, that's for sure. Why is it snowing? You ready for this? No, it's snowing. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, go home. let's go see what we can do. All right, take you along. What do you think, Jeff? I get slippery.
Yeah, okay. Not right here. You guys have to go more directly. So past. vertical, you have nothing. This way you have a little bit of lift, that's why this side works. You know, it looks bigger. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it up. Yeah, you are. Here. I got you. I got it. Okay. Denver, Denver's got it. <laughs> Got a wheel off the ground finally. What's he supposed to do there, boss? Yep, not gonna grab it. Made her up in mostly one piece. Okay, okay, we're gonna try this. This is a this is a upchuck here. I'm too scared to do high dive, and I just checked my gauges. My talent tank is on empty, so we'll see what happens here. This particular obstacle is on the behind the rocks trail right before White Knuckle Hill. Now it doesn't look like much on the camera, but I assure you it's uh it's fairly challenging simply because it's quite off camber. So 
Once you get through it, it's not bad, but rolling up and when you're in the middle of it, it's pretty freaking scary. Yeah, you're good now. Just roll on down. Alright folks, I'm about to go down White Knuckle Hill. I'm terrified. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Right, you guys so I made it down White Knuckle Hill with the assistance of Jeff spotting me in mostly one piece mentally not quite so much Jeff came down I lined him up pretty poorly got his approach all screwed up and so we ended up calling off his drop and taking him down the new bypass it's a huge freaking obstacle the lead up up to it's almost scarier than the actual obstacle because it's so high in the air and it's so freaking massive. Anyway, we live to ride another day and we all found out Hopper is the worst spotter under pressure ever. So, yep. Well, that's picture frame, Arch. Pretty cool. There's the Jeeps down there. I believe this is called hiking. Just not far enough. All right, it is Monday morning. We are gonna do Hell's Revenge. So starting to air down and uh, we're gonna go from there.
trail mater. Look at that. So badass. So cool. So cool. Jeff and I, we're just sitting up here. It's a uh, good old East, East Jeep Safari traffic jam. Waiting for him to clear out before we drop down the hill. Hate to kiss uh, kiss the ass end of another Jeep if uh, my transfer case blows up and my brakes give out. So, we'll wait for a second. Two hours later. Okay, so, we're up here. We're over by, I believe it's Devil's Hot Tub. And this is Mickey's hot tub, and the traffic jam goes all the way clear that way. We're at the end of it. So we figured we'd come over and see what the holdup was. From what I understand, on their exit attempt, they flipped, flipped over, did a loop-de-loop, -loop and landed on their lid. So they've just been working at rigging to get them out. So that's what we're waiting for. We got that done out of the way we're going to air up yeah
last, we have to connect the sway bars. Yes, you might be wondering to yourself, what is this highly technological material he's using to secure his sway bars up and out of the way? Safety wire and bailing wire. I'll come back around and put my clips through there once they're in place. Make it to the top and then she can jump off and I'll catch her. Annie, I thought you're climbing up. Right now, the girls are climbing this enormous what is it? Cottonwood? Something like that? We're at a food truck park here in downtown Moab. Pretty, seems pretty Because cool. we're hip. Because we're cool. We like food. I mean, like trucks, I guess. More like a food trailer. Anyway, pretty cool idea. All right, we're up here looking at an arch. That's an arch. You can tell it's an arch because of the way it is. It's archy. That's an arch. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. That's an arch. Yep. Still an arch. You can tell there's people up there. There's another arch. It's pretty pretty. I'll tell you what. There you can see the children are climbing to certain doom up a cliff and into a close layer. Good thing is there's more kids where they can go. They all die? <laughs> all right. Here's another arch. You can also tell this is an arch because of the arch-like formation with the void in the middle. It's beautiful, stunning. In fact, some would say outstanding. Listen to the critics. See for yourself. All right. We've made it to the top of the Delicate Arch Overlook. Underlook, looking up. Anyway, Delicate Arch. Right there. Boop, boop. Whoa. Whoa. See? Right there. Whoop, whoop. And there, there's a there's a dum dum. He's lost. Just keep walking. Don't turn around. Just keep walking. Bye. Now we're back in Moab. Went to this ice cream shop that also sold cupcakes. We got some ice cream, and I got a cupcake, and it was delicious. Now my teeth hurt. I have a tongue thing. Dang! Dang! Look 
how yummy this looks. It looks amazing. Good times. Now we got diabetes. Well, it's that bittersweet time where we uh, we head home. Heat to go, but also super excited to get back home. We're just trucking on northbound on the highway headed to the interstate. We're gonna shoot for Fruta. Once we hit Fruta, we'll uh, get fuel, we'll dump our tanks, we will winterize and head back to the snowy Northland we call home. So, that's what I know. <laughs>